everyone. Today I'm going to bring you along for a four corner pantry meal um, using fridge, freezer, um, working pantry, extended pantry, or garden. But to where you're using, utilizing all that you are storing. So today I'm going to bring you along for stuffed French bread. It is um, a meal that my family loves. Easy to put together and um, you can sneak in the veggies and they'll never know. So let's get started. Um, right here I have about two pounds of hamburger and one extra large onion. Um, I am doubling this recipe so that is why I'm using what I'm using. You can have it. It's a very forgiving recipe. Um, so if you only have half an onion, only use half an onion. Um, but that, the meat came from my freezer, that came from my pantry. Um, okay, so next on our list is going to be cream of chicken or cream of mushroom soup, whatever you have on hand. I actually have my home canned cream of chicken and mushroom soup, so that is what we are going to be using. So this is my extended pantry, and I have two of them since, again, I'm doubling the recipe. Now this already has some onion and some celery, um, and then it has our broth. So go ahead and throw all that in. And it has, um, I forget what else I put in this. I have a video of me canning it. Now this has clear gel, so it is a little thick, but um, it doesn't have the cream in it since we canned it. So I have cream in my fridge. Okay, so I have some cream. And this is just to eyeball to taste, maybe a couple tablespoons, um, just to give it that creamy flavor since it's not in. Well, come here, whiny. So, next, we're going to do some Worcestershire, which of course came from our fridge. This garlic from my pantry. And all these are just a taste. Um, parsley from my pantry because I ran out of my homemade. I use that on my marinara. Some salt and some pepper. And that's all there is to it. So I'm just going to let this simmer for a minute. And then while this is simmering, I'm going to take my French bread, hollow it out, but do not uh, throw away the inside bread because we're going to use it and put it back in this. So, give me just a minute. Okay, so as you can see, <laughs> I had lunch and the girls had lunch. Um, my canner was going. It's coming off of pressure right now. But um, it was way too loud. And I did not take that into account when I started filming this. Um, so what I did is we heated up our, um, oh, we heated up um, our mixture uh, once we put, and then we put all of the insides of our French loaf into it and made almost like a um, stuffing. You wanted it real thick though, you didn't want it loose because we then cut it once we bake it off. Um, so I, I hollowed it out, I put in our stuffing mixture, put your cheese of choice, mine has cheddar, my husband's loaf for lunch, yes, for lunch this week has American, and then you put the other end on and stick it in the oven, 375. This went for about 15 minutes. You just want your cheese melted and um, a crispy crust. So, well, you can't even, it's crispy. I can't. <laughs> um, and that's all there is to it. And it's just as good the next day. My husband actually will eat it cold um, on lunch. Yes, he will. Um, it's super easy, super delicious. Um, and the bread, 
is actually uh, part of my pantry too. It is a uh, when Walmart has their day old yes their day old bread um, and they put it for like fifty cents. You are loud, and they put it for about fifty cents. Um, I stock up on a few loaves and stick it in my freezer. So these were actually thawed out from my freezer. So it is a complete four corner pantry meal. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Share it. Um, if you make it yourself, um, send me a picture on Facebook and let me know how it was. And I will, you want to say bye? And I will see you guys next time for another recipe or canning session. Say bye! No, you're not going to do it. No, she's not going to do it. Oh. Bye. Bye.